In this demo, we're going to look at Quick Charts, a lightweight charting library that allows us to generate custom visualizations and embed them in Power Apps using image URLs. Unlike the default chart controls in Power Apps, Quick Charts gives us more flexibility and a wider range of options. It works by creating a chart as a static image through a URL, which we can dynamically build using JSON. This opens up a lot of possibilities for customized and data-driven visualizations inside your app. We start by going to the Quick Charts editor, where we can design the chart we want, choosing the chart type, adding labels, datasets, colors, and more. Once we've set up the chart, we'll take two key parts from the editor. The first is the base URL, which points to the chart rendering service. The second is the chart body, which is the JSON object that describes the chart's structure, what data to show, how to label it, and how it should look. What we do next is encode that JSON string and append it to the base URL. This gives us a full chart image URL that we can use anywhere, including inside Power Apps. Back in Power Apps, we insert an image control and set its image property to this generated URL. This allows the chart to render directly in the app as an image. No code required beyond building the URL. Once it's in place, we can modify the values in the chart body, re-encode it, and watch the chart update. To make things more dynamic, we're going to use a fake sales dataset generated by ChatGPT. It includes products, units sold, and other sample fields. With this data, we can calculate the total number of units sold per product and use that to build a bar chart. Once we've aggregated the data, we can feed it into our chart body, re-encode it, and update the image URL in Power Apps. This lets us quickly turn raw data into a visual summary, helpful for dashboards, reporting, or simple data exploration, all within Power Apps using a very lightweight method. To set this up, we're going to switch over to a text editor, where I already have some of the code pre-written and ready to use. If you're following along, feel free to pause here and take a moment to review the code snippets carefully. The first section we'll look at is for setting up the labels, and the second part is for defining the data values. This is where we can apply mathematical operations. Power Apps supports several built-in functions for this, including count, sum, average, standard deviation, and variance. For this example, we'll keep it simple and use the sum function to total up sales figures. So let's begin by setting up the labels. Since I already know what my data set looks like, I'll be using the sales data collection, and I want the x-axis to show product names. To do this, I'll reference the product column from my data set. I'll copy that expression and paste it into the labels section of my chart definition. Once that's in place, the chart's x-axis should now show the list of products in the data set. Next, I want to define the data values that correspond to each product. So I'll go back to the text editor and look at the section for the chart's data values. By default, this might show something like a row count, but we're going to change that. I'll replace the count rows function with sum, since we want to total up the units sold for each product. I'll again reference my sales data collection, and this time I'll make sure to specify both the grouping column, which is still product, and the column we want to sum, which is units sold. It's always a good idea to double check the column name. So I'll go back to my data just to confirm. Yes, units sold is the correct field. With that confirmed, I'll copy the updated expression and paste it into the data section of the chart. Once that's done, we should see the chart update to reflect the sum of units sold per product. I'll take a moment to review the output, and everything looks correct. The values match what I see in the data set. And that's basically it. We've now created a custom chart by defining labels and values using functions like sum, all from inside a simple text editor, and using Power Apps to visualize the result.